We have high confidence in our sensors. We offer a five-year warranty because of the confidence of the research and development, especially with the accelerated ageing of the sensors. So today, what we are going to do, we'll put it down, we're going to abuse them, um, if we could put it that way. We're going to be quite extreme. Of course, this is a little crazy. To take sensors into an environment and drive over them with vehicles and bang them with hammers is not something our customers would normally do, and certainly not something we recommend that they do. But we are confident that if you use our sensors as they're designed to do, within the specification and even beyond, they will still be working. Everyone knows about temperature sensors in food industry and processing and they're subject to all, to all sorts of different environments. But the refrigeration industry is pretty tough on temperature sensors too. Really? How cold? Well, they get icy cold, you know, minus 20 degrees sometimes. Wow. We've got a temperature sensor that we put in to a block of ice, I think a couple of days ago in the fridge. It's just sitting here at the moment. It's completely encased in ice, as you and, can see. And the cable connected. And the cable's connected as well. In fact, it's actually even reading the temperature in the ice at the moment. Yeah. So I thought what we'd do is just as to try and see how robust it is, we could move it from here. And we've got some ice water here. What do you think if we put it in this pot of boiling water? <laughs> I think that sounds great. Let's go. So if I'll pick this up and we'll pop it in here. Probably take a couple of minutes to melt up. The ice is now melting, and I won't touch it because it's pretty hot, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, it's reading about 92 at the moment. <laughs> So that's still working. And still connected. And it's just okay. gone out from zero. I'll pop it back in here. Wow. So it's gone from zero to about 95 and back to five, six degrees. Yeah, that is amazing, um, isn't it? And it's... And able to hold it still. Yeah, yeah. And it's still working. That is great, yeah. That's still working. Love it. So that's pretty impressive for the TD. Yeah. You know, and, and the cable hasn't leaked. It's been in a block of ice for three days. <laughs> Why am I holding on to all these grapes? Well, you know, we're out in the countryside and got beautiful air and we're in a winery and we're testing our sensors to see what sort of punishment we can put them through. So I've got this lovely pressure sensor here. Mm -hmm. As you know how robust they are, what I want to do is to be able to put them into an ice wine barrel right. and crush some grapes. Crush some grapes? <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> Give it a go. Okay. I'll rinse it off. Yep. And see how it looks. And yes. Still working. Still working. Well done. <laughs> With some really great results, some surprising results. Um, I was really impressed to see some of the things that we did. They were a lot of fun. The, the temperature sensor test was particularly interesting. You know, freezing it in a block of ice and taking it into hot water. Not a normal application for a temperature sensor, but we still had great results and you know that's a, a good example or representation of all of our temperature sensors, how they're able to cope with that high temperature change um, and being in a frozen block mm, of ice for yeah. days and it's still as good as gold.